Lower. Jesus. I got a back now. I know what she's talking about. You got your back. I'm telling you how to teach you. Jesus. Y'all got to get up off y'all sick or do nothing. Y'all got to go out here and eat vineyards. Y'all got to tell these people about the goodness of That's right. And don't you take your highness out there. Huh. Hey, car. See? See? Lust in me. Oh. And I'm going to talk to you about lust. Uh -huh. <laughs> you better get away from me, David. <laughs> That's what the devil will tell you. You better get away from me, David, because I see you in me. So how you gonna come out here and tell me about me when there's some of you still in me? Until you be delivered, don't you come up in my face, Lord. That's no right. more. That's Demon talking to familiar spirit. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I told y'all, I told y'all, it's a cost to be a disciple. It ain't no just coming up in here. And number one, you got to be a follower. Yeah. See? Uh, see? You got to be a follower. That's yeah. right. You yeah. can't come in here and don't tell me what to do. Amen. 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 Now, I'm going to tell you something. Let me correct something. Uh, I ain't too big where I can't take nothing from nobody. Right. But you ain't going to tell me what I'm doing. Well, you ain't doing nothing for your come own sake. Come on. Well, you ain't changing your own sake. That's right. You still doing the same thing you did 10 years ago. Years ago, mm -hmm. that same demon lay resting in you. Yeah. I thought you said it had died. Oh, oh. It ain't dead. Yeah. You just put it to the back a little bit oh. and you brought another demon out. Jesus. Them little foxes that we keep it holding on to back in this little oh. side. Like, oh. I gotta push him back here because I don't want nobody to see him. You can't hide from God. Amen. You can't hide the mess of God. But God will show it up at the door. Amen. 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 It's gonna be seen right there at the door. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell y'all, when I shut my books last night, I said, Lord, you use me. Ever how you want to use me, Lord, you use me. I know the friend, all of you, you speak whatever you want to speak through me, Father. And I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you. I cannot enjoy walking in fellowship and friendship with God, living a holy I can't walk in, I can't enjoy walking in fellowship and friendship with God, living a holy and happy life. I must pay the price of this world fellowship. In other words, I must no longer allow secular and worldly philosophy to color my thinking and living. Don't let the world around you squeeze you into its own mother. You can find somebody about that in Romans 12 and 2. Now, church, we're talking about the cost of being a disciple. All you got to do is come. <laughs> there are some requirements. One, love God more than you love anything else. And I already right. spoke on that. Amen. I already Amen. spoke about that. You can go to Abraham for that example when he had to give up his son. When God was giving up to give his son, I you right, Genesis 22 and 2. Sometimes we have to lose everything to gain eternal life. That's right. A disciple is someone who loves God more than anything or anyone else's family. We find out about that in Luke 14 and 27 and Luke 9 and 23. I'm telling you, y'all, God is God is saying, forsake all that you have. Now here comes here comes something that's gonna, gonna knock somebody off their feet. Because sometimes we don't want to give up stuff. We want to just hold on to a lot of stuff, you know. And I'm telling you, God has spoken my spirit. I got to give up some stuff. Okay. I'm getting ready to give up some stuff. Because in doing this mess right here, uh -huh. I ain't using it. If I hold it, collect dust. Somebody else could be being blamed. Right. Somebody else could be sitting like enjoying that treasure. That's right. But, so likewise, whoever does not say all that he has cannot be my disciple. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Whoever does not forsake all, that he cannot be my disciple. Luke 14 and 33. To forsake man means to surrender your claim to say goodbye to. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You got to say goodbye to this stuff. Mm -hmm. Until I recognize that everything I have belongs to Jesus Christ, I am not his disciple. 
Consider Jesus' encounter with the rich young ruler who asked Jesus, what must I do to inherit et et eternal life? Mark 10 and 17. I'm just giving y'all the scripture so you can write it down. You can go back and read them at your leisure time. Jesus answered, you know the commandments. Y'all know the commandments. Mm -hmm. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not testify falsely. Do not cheat. Honor your father and mother. Teacher. The man replied, I obey all these commandments since I was a child. Jesus felt genuine love for this man and he looked at him. Here we go. You like one thing. He told him. Here we go. Go and sell all you have and give money to the poor. Mm. I ain't about to get on my stuff. Mm. I got a little too much stuff. I can use this year next year. <laughs> next year. Do you not know that if you obey what God telling you to do, you could be blessed that day, that next day, that next month? Mm -hmm. But if we refuse to give away what God has told us to give away, we don't to hinder our blessings. We hinder, not nobody else. Don't be blaming nobody else for your fault. Uh, not seeing that. That's, right. That's your fault. That's, right. That's your fault. Right. God speaking you just like He's speaking to us. Oh, rephrase. The only way he don't speak to you, you don't have a relationship with him. Come on, and you cannot hear him. Come you on. cannot hear him. I'm telling you, I'm about to blow up over here. But I'm telling right. you. I'm telling you. Okay, and you have, okay. And give the money to the poor. And you will have treasures in heaven. Then come follow me. And this time the man face failed. You saw I just did. I ain't giving up my stuff. I ain't giving up this next year. All them clothes packed in our clothes. Me and Pastor Guilty for that. Show sure hell. We got a whole lot of clothes in our closet. But we talked about we got to get it together so we can get some clothes away. Because we got we got some blessings that, that's getting ready to come to us. And y'all the same way? Yeah. It ain't got to be clothes. It can be shoes. It can be whatever's in your house that you had just sitting there. That's right. Let me tell you about it. God would tell you who to give what to. He'll tell you. Who to give it to? That means you're sowing in good ground. Amen. When you, or you do it like God do. But you do it because I ain't giving them none of my stuff. They don't need nothing. Okay, with yourself, yourself. Oh, that's what you are. 